Hey there, action fan. It's Avatar Review Time. Today, it's The Terror Within. The episode begins with Zaheer and the gang successfully breaking into Iron Town, and the stage is set for an epic battle between the four lethal bending terrorists and Korra, the Avatar, the most powerful bender in the world. Except Korra goes down without a fight thanks to poison darts. Don't you just hate it when that happens? But it does touch off a very awesome rescue scene. With everyone firing on all cylinders and a little luck, the gang rescues the imperiled princess from her captors. But that leaves one important question. Who's responsible for letting Zaheer and the Red Lotus into the city? So when some poor schmuck fails his lie detector test and a boatload of evidence turns up at his place, Lobot puts him on ice while the Red Lotus are still at large. Then Varric shows up to point out how convenient that was and how the patsy is, you know, a patsy. So Cora and friends search Iway's place, only to find that he has skeletons in his closet and a tunnel to the outside behind his bookcase. Too bad the crafty <laughs> escapes before the good guys can knock his teeth in. But he leaves Cora an explosive going away present. That's the best kind. And the episode ends with Team Avatar in hot pursuit over Lin's objections. Okay, this episode is great. Let's start with what the series has been known for, the action. The episode is dominated in the first half by a bending scene so epic it's a full-on bending war. Korra being in a drugged-up stupor helps the fight in two ways. First off, Korra tends to outshine everyone else in combat because, you know, Avatar. And her needing help shows that not even the Avatar can do it all alone. In this street war, It was more like a garden, really. Whatever, between Team Avatar, the Metal Clan, and the Red Lotus, everyone who's a bender, sorry Asami, gets a moment to do their stuff. We see all four elements on glorious display, and not just being thrown around either. We see the mobility enhancing powers of air and earth bending, and lava bending's potential to create impassable barriers. Too bad no one brought a Koopa shell. And the Metal Clan guards are way more on point than the White Lotus guys. The second half of the episode is devoted to a pretty interesting mystery, about how the Red Lotus entered the city. And this is Mako's time to shine. Going from a professional athlete to a beat cop may have been a step back status-wise, but it still moved him forward as a character. The way he puts his detective skills to use unraveling the mystery is very cool. The mystery itself is well set up. Ingwe isn't the first guy you'd think of when you think traitor, but in hindsight it all kind of fits. Of course, Mako gets a little help from his old buddy Varric, who's awesome as always. He's got that wild-eyed, crazy genius thing going on. He and Bolin are neck and neck for comedy MVP. Bolin, who's overall competent in this episode, is funny as always, but he seems to be channeling Mikey just a bit too often. But they're not the only ones getting their funny on. Ingwe gets a pretty hilarious scene beside Mako. There's also some interesting world building going on. The Red Lotus seem to be a bigger group than just four superpowered assassins. With Ingwe involved, it's hard to know just how far the conspiracy extends. Character wise, Bolin's ongoing struggle with metal bending is interesting to watch. And it seems like they're going to be dragging out this subplot for a while yet. And it was also fun to see Sue, who's had a couple of hairline fractures in her good queen shtick, finally chew some poor dude out just like her sister would. Now it's time to break down the good and the bad in Avatar The Legend of Korra, The Terror Within. On the good side, the action is off the hook. The comedy is well-paced and funny, and the character and world development was interesting. On the bad side, when an episode is as good as this one is, the flaws are more noticeable. The Terror Within has no real use for Asami, and with everyone able to do at least something, having her as basically a cheerleader doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And this is the most heinous nitpick, but there's a scene when Sue gives the gang a jeep. She says, Jeep. So, Jeep brand Jeeps exist in the Avatar world? Or the name Jeep, which is an extension of the acronym GP, or General Purpose. But that would mean that the Avatar alphabet has the letters G and P in it. But those complaints are hateful little nothings. So I give The Terror Within a 4.5 out of 5. A must-see for any Avatar fan. If you're interested in more reviews of anime, TV shows, comic books, video games, or movies, check out my channel on YouTube at StupidPrivate913. Or find me on Facebook for video updates and more. Thanks for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.